So the Jeep is gonna be pretty much done after this video, guys. Um, I'm gonna be doing smaller mods here and there, but I got the lift kit in, I got big tires on it, um, I got the hood on, you know, the tire carrier on the back, all the big expensive stuff is done. I'm gonna be doing smaller mods here and there, but for the most part, this project is done. You guys loved what I did with my last Jeep. Um, I'll have links to the description of all the parts on this Jeep and my last Jeep, but I'm headed up to Unlimited RV and Collision. They're paint matching my hood, which a lot of people were like, oh, just throw it on there, you know, matte black, you know how it comes, but I think that would not look good. You gotta get it paint matched. You know, maybe if I had the hard top that wasn't paint matched, that was, you know, black, it might match the hood and it might look okay, but in my opinion, going that extra step makes it look so much better. So let's see how the paint match goes. So here it is guys, my 2018 Jeep Wrangler JL. Loved how it turned out. Um, right now I'm just gonna go around the car and show you a little bit of what I did with it. And like I said, I'm not completely done with this build. I'm gonna be changing the headlights out because the stock headlights suck. Still gotta do something with that license plate on the back. Um, just, you know, there's a little bit of uh, things that I'm gonna do, probably the running boards. But right now I'm gonna walk around and show you exactly what I did. So I got the DV8 heat dispersion hood. That's my latest mod had it paint matched and do not regret the extra cost of getting it paint matched because it makes it look so much cleaner. A lot of people were telling me, oh, why would you spend that extra money, you know, to uh, do that? But it wouldn't look good. I was thinking maybe it would look good if I didn't have the paint match. You know, if I had the sport model that had the black hard top, if this was black and this was black, maybe you can get away with it, but definitely have to paint match the hood. So this is something I suggest to everyone, whether you have a JK or a JL, is uh, getting these hood latches replaced because the stock ones they fade over time just look like crap this is a dv8 bumper really like how that turned out at first i hated it because it came as a stubby bumper but these have the attachments to make it a full width bumper and i just love that you know flush look it makes it look super mean from the front so that's why I went that route. Now a thing essential to all Jeeps is a lift kit with wheels and tires. So I went with a four inch lift by Rough Country. Love this lift, it's a long arm lift so it's super smooth on the highway. For you daily drivers out there, it's seriously the best lift. And not even for you daily drivers, for you guys that are trying to rock climb, it's got the most clearance. And the reason I like Rough Country is normally they're the cheapest price and they're pretty good lifts and they're easy to install. My brother and dad just installed a 2.5 inch Rough Country lift with the coils and the shocks on my brother's Jeep and it took them about, you know, it took them two days to do it, but they 100% did it all themselves. They said it was a process, but they got it done. Now the 37 inch tires, those are our uh, Venom Power tires. Suggest this brand to anybody. I didn't know about them, but my buddy told me that uh, this is the best budget tire you can get. So these run about $250 to $275 for 37s, and they're quiet on the highway. They look freaking badass. The tread life is awesome because it's an AT tire. It's not a mud tire, even though it's so aggressive, it could pass as a mud tire. So really like the tires, and I went with 22 inch wheels on my last build. I went with 30 uh, or uh, 20 inch wheels. These are 22 inch wheels by XF Offroad. If you guys haven't heard of that company, check them out. Awesome wheels, man. I was looking all over online for kind of a unique tire and these ones are, are just awesome because it's not a super massive company. You know, not a lot of people have the XF Offroad. So if you guys are looking for a unique look, definitely go with uh, the XF Offroads. But what I wanna know guys, I know this Jeep isn't completely done, but which Jeep do you like best? Do you like my black Jeep that I did, my 2014 JK, or do you like the 2018 JL? Let me know in the comments below. So let's go to the back. I basically just threw on a Amazon special bumper. I ordered this for my last Jeep because I, my last Jeep, I was uh, gonna throw this on before I sold it, but they sent me the wrong one. They sent me the JL version. They wouldn't return it, so I just threw it on there and it actually looks pretty nice. It's got the same texture as the front, so that turned out good. The tire carrier, super pleased with it. It's from Rugged Ridge, and I really like it because you can angle it any angle that you want here on the back, and it gives you a really unique look that not a lot of people have. 
and I actually made a video about this, but I like how it's not built in to the bumper because it's an extra step that you have to do each and every time you get into the back. And with all the remodeling I do on my house and trips to the grocery store, all that good stuff, it's just a pain in the ass to do that. So I'd rather just have it built into the tailgate like this one. But that's pretty much it guys. If there's any mods that uh, you guys would suggest, let me know in the comments. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel. And also let me know about uh, what you think about the fenders. Um, in my mind, it's not worth it if you already have the paint match fenders to go ahead and you know swap them out because I, I honestly like the stock fenders. You know, I don't like the sport ones or you can even get the Rubicon with the fenders that aren't paint matched. I don't like those, but the paint match ones, I don't think it's worth it to get aftermarket fenders when these ones look great by themselves. So like I said, pretty much all the parts on here are gonna be in the description below. So check that out. Um, all the links to this Jeep and my last build. And you're gonna be a bit surprised on how cheap you guys can actually build your own, you know, your own Jeep if you guys just pick, you know, mix and match the parts and stuff like that. I know these people, you know, you, you contact them, they're charging eight, 10, 12,000. Oh, I'll build you a Jeep, I'll make it all custom. But if you guys were to just, you know, pick out all you want, parts for parts, you guys can do it for a pretty affordable price. So check out those links and I'll see you guys next time.